God damn it! Open the door! Hey, God! Tell us! The fuck was going on in there? Why'd you just fucking lock me out? Huh? I just asked you a question. What'd you lock Were me you out Were you telling for? Calvis the day he was killed? What? You heard me. Did he compromise his cover? And were you tailing him as a result of that? You talked to them after I left? The must work off the floor to Colby's ID and badge. You heard them. They're claiming Calves supplied them with stolen police issue to make junk buys. Can you explain that? Because I am having a hell of a lot of trouble figuring exactly. that out. How long after I left did you let those liberal stirrings in you spill out all over the fucking floor? I like the position I'm in. I don't like what you're putting me in. Ask these questions. Now, were you following them? It's not an indictment if you did, but if you did, I need to know that. I need to know that now. No. I was not telling him. But you were there before he died. You were there before he died. Tell me that I'm wrong. You wanna fucking talk? All right, we'll talk. Mike was making a bust that morning. He had enough going against them to make an arrest. He needed backup. Off roster. Why? Because he wanted to bring him in on his own. So I stayed back. I waited. And the buy went bad. Then how come you couldn't identify those guys in there because right away? Because they shot him and ran! They shot him, right? You shot them as they fled the scene. What? What did they say to you? That motherfucker Oak started shooting. He shot Calvin. He killed Calvin. And he killed him. He killed Calvin. So that somebody can take the fall for his You must be out of your fucking mind. As much as he meant to me, you call up my integrity? My commitment to that kid? You're gonna let these fucking low-light pieces of shit smear that? Scott, no huh? Justice. We're bringing him in. We're taking him in. You're fucking with something you can't possibly understand. <laughs> I'm taking him in. It's over now. Fucking joke. You know that? You're a fucking joke. Your whole career is a fucking joke. A complete fucking washout. You pop that needle freak in the park, and in the process, you hit that fucking woman with a straight bullet, costing her a bouncing baby. Enough! Fucking her up for Enough! life! Enough! Stop! Shut the fuck up! Come on. You're a lie. Come on. Fucking lie. God, that's some child welfare. Catherine Tunney? Mother deceased was removed from the custody of her stepfather, Myron Cobb, November 23rd, 1985, declared ward of the state, placed with foster parents. Do you know that little girl, Lieutenant? I think you do. They sealed the records till she was 18. And they wanted to adopt her. She's been in and out of trouble for years and years, in and out of foster homes. Handful of arrests, mostly drug related. You had them all squashed. You bailed her out of rehab lots of times. When she was a minor, you needed a doctor to sign the release. So who did it? Your old pal Harlan. Hey, this is a good friend of mine, Art Harlan's with the coroner's office. He signed her out of all this clinic. See, I saw the signatures. Shit. You made sure that Harlan was the active ME on the Calvest case, didn't you? Didn't you? This might have a connection to Mike. Calvis? What the hell are you doing with that? I thought we were closing it up. So we can doctor the autopsy, right? Alter the lab reports, make him look clean. Make Calvest look clean. He's as dirty as you are. A filthy, fucking, needle-ridden junkie. And you fucking knew it, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. I'm calling this in right now. Gun and your shield on the ground now. 
I am so far from fucking with you. You put a gun in my face. You threatened my life. I'm gonna take your life. Gun and shield on the ground now. You're a fucking lie. You just want me to back your bullshit. Sell your story so you can railroad those poor pricks. <laughs> Yeah. You just couldn't afford to break your heart again. You just couldn't do it. I get it, man. I get it. He's a fucking addict. I mean, how long is it before he starts pimping her out, right? It's all hopeless, right? Everything you did was hopeless, didn't matter. You just took this case so you could bury it. Oh, good. Yeah. Kill me. Kill me just like you killed him. Come on, buddy. I'm going back in there and finish this up. Come on. Go home. Come on.